Hi guys, it's Sam here from daytips.com helping you to grow your eBay business. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use the eBay HTML tool for free. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HTML aspect of your uh, of your eBay description. And as I mentioned before, the standard when you're doing your um, creating your listing, you can use the standard option, which is just plain text. So whatever you want to type in here, it's just going to come up as plain text. Or you can use this feature, which is called HTML. Um, I'd like to introduce you to a website called Sellercore. That's Seller, S-E-L-L-E-R-C-O-R-E. -E -E. um, it's free to use this. You can either register for an account, which I suggest, um, or you can just, you don't even have to have an account. You can just get started. And I want to show you what basically this does. So when you come in here, you are going to see a bunch of HTML or what's known as HTML templates. Okay, so this is one of their HTML templates. And as you can see, it's, you know, you've got, it's a, it's a fairly attractive. I've got images here that I can click on and change. If I wanted to change an image, all I'll do is, um, I think I can right, no, not right click, but I could change it. I can add an, I can add it all. So I double clicked it and here the icon came here, which says delete image. So I can delete the image. I can insert my own image by coming up here and inserting an image of my own yeah so I can do that um, one thing you're going to want to know about inserting an image is it's not as straightforward as it may seem you're going to need an image URL so I'm going to now show you how to get an image URL okay guys so at the moment I'm in Google images and I've typed in iPhone 4s just to demonstrate how to get images into seller core by because um, you need to have the image URL so I would right click on if there was an image here that I wanted to use I can right click on it and I'll come up here to where it says copy image URL and I'll click that um, I'll go back to seller core where it's asking me for my image URL I would paste it in there and there there's the um, there's the image there and when I click OK you'll see that my image comes in my text now so my image is there um, if you wanted to use an image from your desktop or from your computer um, then this is what you would do I'm gonna go through the stage with you now so you click image um, here we are again so it needs an image URL I would come over here to this website and I'll make a note of this website it's called tinypick.com that's t-i-n-y-p-i-c Dot com tinypick.com and um, what it allows you to do is it allows you to get an image URL from images that are not currently on the internet so if you wanted an image that's already on the internet then you just have to right click on it if you wanted um, the URL of an image that's on your computer then it's not it's not gonna have an image URL when you right click it so you're gonna have to come to tinypick choose file um, let me choose um, a random picture okay of this hat and again this tool is free for you to use it's not going to charge you anything so I can see that my image is there um, file type is image upload now oh I need me to type in a code So if I copy that, or even if I was in doubt, I can now that this is on the internet, I can actually right, right click that and copy the image URL. But when I paste it in here, it's gonna show my hat, just how it showed the, the image that I got from Google. So that's how you add images to Seller Core. Okay, so now you know how to get an 
image on Cellacore, um, you're going to want to know how to get or you're going to need to know how to get a, a video on there. Now, what I said, you're going to have to kind of, you see me here, I'm in the design tab. So when I click on guest welcome, that's where I'm editing in now. If I click here on HTML, it's going to take me to the HTML version of this. So that's what I need when I need to put a video in here. So what I'm going to do to make it easy for myself, because that HTML looks, you know, looks foreign uh, to me. I don't, I don't want it to be too complicated for me. I'm going to decide where I want to put the image. So let's say I want to put the image up here where it says thank you. Nope, don't want that. So. So I've decided I want to put the image there. I'm going to put loads of X's where I want to put the image and I'm going to show you why in a second. So I'm going to put loads of X's here um, while I'm still in design. Then I'm going to head over to HTML and it makes it easier for me to see. So I can see all of the X's that I've put there. Now what I'm going to want to do, if, my, if the video that I want is actually on YouTube, I'm going to come over here um, and you know make sure it's a video that you're actually allowed to use um, some videos you're not allowed to use I'm not sure what the rules are on it but just you know do a bit of research and double check what the rules are um, this is a YouTube video that I've found and let's say I wanted to use this in my eBay advert so i would come down here to where it says share and I'll click on that and then I will find where it says embed and I'll click on that I'll copy this code here. This is in, called the embed code. So I would actually copy this. And I will come back to where I have all of these X's and I'll paste it where these X's are. So yeah, and what I did is is basically just pasted it where the X's were. If I come back to here where it says design, you'll see my video is here now in, in um, Seller Core and I can take off those X's because I don't need those X's anymore, but my video is there. And uh, now if I click a new tab, I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to click new tab. So now you know how to add an image. Now you know how to add a video. I'm gonna show you how to custom design um, your HTML. Uh, I wanna come up here and I wanna to go to file and where it says open template file. And it's gonna give me a list once it loads up. Okay, so it's giving me a folder here. This is the free one. So you wanna click on free. You want to click on any folder that is kind of semi relevant to what you're doing so for the iPhone 5 I might select here products just for example purposes because I'm trying to sell a product um, it has books candle cleaning clothes desktop computer laptop money music shoes television video game okay so there's nothing really relevant to a phone here Um, okay, I'm just going to click watch. You can have a browse around and see what else they have, but just for time purposes, let's say I'm selling a watch and I can choose their template. Okay, guys, so I've chosen their template for a watch. This is just a random template that I've chosen. You can go in here and you can choose any template you want um, but just for demonstration purposes I've chosen this one so I can come in here and I can edit this 
I can, um, you know, edit how my text is. If I want uh, my text, for example, to be bold or underlined, I can do that simply by just selecting it and selecting whatever I want. You know, I can bold it here. I can underline it, um, put it in italics. I can change the color of it. If I want it to be violet, I can change the color of it. I can center it. Um, what else can I do with it? I could change the size of it. I wanted it to be a bit bigger. You know, so I can really kind of do anything I want with it. It gives you a lot more options than the normal eBay template gives you. When you complete, say you're, you're happy with your design, you're happy with your how it looks, you want to click over here where it says HTML. And you want to copy this um, HTML code here. Copy it exactly how it is. Now you probably want to save this as well because you spent a lot of time on it. So you want to save this, um, but make sure you save it into Notepad. So you're going to want to save it into, um, open up Notepad. You're going to want to save it into your Notepad and file and save it somewhere where you will, um, you know, where you can find it just in case anything happens to it. So here I am back on my eBay page. Just so you can see that I'm back in eBay. And I'm back in my description where it's asking me for HTML. I paste my HTML in here. And when I look, when I click back on standard and I look at it, I can see it's not just your average um, eBay listing anymore. It's now designed really well. It's now a lot more attractive. It's now ready for customers to see it and to see that my eBay listing is different from, you know, 90% of the other eBay listings here. Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully it helped. If it did, please click the thumbs up button down below. Um, leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions. Um, if you want to download my ebook, How to Make Money While You Sleep on eBay, then head over to my website, daytips.com slash subscribe, where you can download that ebook for free. And um, until next time, guys, subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon.